My name is Steve Gaines. I'm a marine ecologist and I'm the Dean of the Brent School of Environmental Science and Management at the University of California, Santa Barbara. We just had a paper come out in Science that looks at a global analysis of the status of the world's fisheries. And given how important fisheries are as a source of food for people and livelihoods for millions of people around the world, you'd think we know a lot about the status of the world's fisheries. But in reality, most of our understanding about how well fisheries are doing comes from a minute fraction of fisheries. The ones that are large, that are very valuable, and where you can afford to collect a lot of information about how well they're doing. That's a few hundred fisheries out of over 10,000 global fisheries. So for thousands and thousands of fisheries, we really don't have good assessments of their status. This paper develops a new approach that uses readily available information, how many fish we're catching, some simple characteristics of their biology, to come up with a new way of assessing how many fish are in the ocean. And then we can use that to compare how many fish we want to be in the ocean to achieve conservation goals, to achieve maximum levels of food production, to achieve, to achieve sustainable livelihoods for local people. What we found is that if you just take the median fishery, the middle fishery from thousands of fisheries around the world, we're only at about a little less than two-thirds of the number of fish in the ocean that we would want to have to be able to have that maximum productivity. And if we, if we break this down into large fisheries versus small fisheries, the small-scale fisheries, which are the bulk of the fisheries and that are really important throughout the developing world, are even in worse shape. They're at about half the target level that you'd want to be for maximum productivity. So the way to think about what it means to fix that problem, let's take that half because it's simplest, it means that if we fix the problem, we move it from being half the target up to the target, which means we double the number of fish in the sea. And at the same time, we greatly increase the catch, in many cases as much as doubling the catch for some of those particular species. So this is one of those real win-wins. It's a problem that when we are overfishing, we have too few fish in the sea and we catch too few fish. Livelihoods are compromised. Fixing the problem leaves more fish in the ocean and more fish are being caught and livelihoods are increased. Here's where the bulk of the problem is. It's small scale, local community, highly diverse, developing world fisheries um, that where the problem is. And the only way we're gonna get a solution to that, I think, is to have approaches that can be replicated in a lot of different areas um, and scale to keep up with the pace of the problem. And so it's, it's exactly in line with what Rare's skill set brings to the table here in terms of inspiring uh, conservation, in terms of being able to get local communities engaged in changing the way they interact with the sea. And the combination of putting in more rights for those local communities um, with protected areas that provide benefits both to conservation and to the fisheries, I think is a, is a tool that is, is the only kind of tool that I think we have that can scale to the level of the problem. So, it's, so that's where I think this is a, is a perfect fit. It's not, a, not that there aren't other problems, but the real need here is something that is exactly what Rare provides.